Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So starting off my day having some of those fried potatoes I've been loving lately. They're so comforting. I'm just hanging out with Marley a little and then I'm getting to what I need to get done for the day, which um, it wasn't too much, I guess, but I just feel like in, lately in general, I have a lot to do and it's like, overwhelming. So I've been making a lot of lists on these like week planners so I can kind of see it all and I don't know, just helps me feel more organized. So I pretty much spent the whole morning just doing cleaning and to-do things, having a little salad for lunch, um, and then I'm just getting back to back to uh, the to-do list, but taking a little time to hang out with Marley as well. She does not like this. She does not like when I'm not available to spend time with her. She's... Um, I think she just gets like separation anxiety so when she realizes she's all alone she gets really upset so I I feel super bad but honestly you can't just like lay in bed with her all day every day although she would love that <laughs> um she definitely likes it when I am sick so I thought I'd give her some food Marley is the weirdest cat um we like open cans of food and like she just doesn't even care she'll go over and sniff it and like not eat and walk away she like almost waits until she thinks like no one is watching or looking and then she'll eat <laughs> like it's very strange her sister um who passed away like as soon as she would hear the can open she would start freaking out she would run around in circles just meowing like crazy Riley's just like eh whatever the weirdest thing never met a cat before that didn't just go crazy for food and she's basically always been that way too it's not like you know she's older and there's something wrong she's always been like that since she was a kitten so um then later obviously at dinner time i was making dinner i was just making like a lazy dinner that was kind of inspired by a hello fresh meal we'd had so i'm just using this like pre-made sauce um and some beyond i'm doing some cabbage and carrots and some edamame and i'm doing that over some rice noodles um oh, it was so good i think i just crushed a little cashew and some sesame seeds on top this is like one of my favorite uh really like quick easy lazy like can really throw it together super quick and then um we've still been trying to watch um kind of like a halloween-ish movie every evening so uh, we watched corpse bride that night and we realized that we had never seen it before we thought we did but neither one of us remembered it but it was cute and then uh, when I came upstairs, little Marley was waiting for me. <laughs> so I just had done some laundry, like my clothing laundry earlier in the day. So I folded those and put those away. Um, but then, yeah, I usually get in bed fairly early. It takes me a long time to fall asleep. So I just try to like wind down <laughs> and then uh, usually read or something and hang out with Marley, which she loves. I had given her some treats and then she can, that's what that look is about. She's wanting more. So it's the next day and I just thought she was so cute the way she was sleeping there. She's so sweet, so tiny, but she, she's, I've been putting that Star Wars blanket on the bed and she's been loving it. So I've just been putting it there every day. So I'm having my coffee and a big glass of water. That's pretty much standard. I actually was not feeling good on this day, hence the Gatorade. <clears throat> um, I was giving her a little more treats because she was actually a good girl. Uh, she's not always a good girl in the morning. She's, uh, she's very vocal. <laughs> um, so the spider was downstairs in the basement. Sorry if you're afraid of spiders. I'm not afraid of them. Um, I just left it in the house because it was raining. I didn't want to put it outside in the rain. Uh, like it was raining quite heavily. Um, but then I noticed it had moved upstairs. <laughs> so I was, um, I just left it there. But later it becomes a problem. <laughs> but uh, I was feeling better by like later in the day. So I was able to um, get up and like clean the room which helped me feel better and then I just had some raw vegetables to eat because I was feeling hungry from not eating all day but I didn't really feel like cooking anything or feel like eating a whole lot so I just had my 
raw vegetables here in bed and I watched General Hospital. Got uh, quite a few episodes to watch because I hadn't watched for a few days. So after I was done, I was going down to get more water and the spider was actually like right next to the door handle. So I was super freaked out. So I went down, I got my water, but I also got a glass to like get him so I could put him outside. But when I got back up, he wasn't near the handle. <laughs> so I was freaking out a little bit like, oh crap. But I did find him and I got him outside just fine. So it's next morning now making my coffee feeling so much better. Our grocery stores recently started this thing where they're giving you stamps for every $20 you spend. So, um, and then you get uh, I think it's like 75% off of this cookware. So I've already got one sheet full, but then I had a couple more stamps to add to. One, the stamps come on these like tiny little things, so I didn't want to lose them. But I'm thinking about getting a couple of my pans could use replacing anyway I'd been already thinking about it but then they also have um, a wok and I do have a wok but it's really big and this one looks um, significantly smaller and I think it would be just easier to cook with I'd still keep the bigger one but um, yeah so I think that's what I'm going to get so basically when you get a full card you can get one thing it's like 75 percent off now i'm sure they're raising the prices <laughs> like to make it seem better maybe i don't know they have it on display like in the store though so i've looked at it and it looks like decent quality cookware in general i feel like it's just super expensive for what it is but um like even not that great of cookware can be super expensive so anyway i took my coffee back upstairs to hang out with Marley. I pretty much have to do this or she'll just freak out and then wake John up and I get up at like four in the morning. So it's like, I just have to kind of be there with her for a couple hours until it's a decent hour. <laughs> um, but John was actually, um, I don't know if he was away or not yet, but I can't remember. I think he might've been already gone away, but I still just do it with her because I don't know, I just, I feel bad for her because she clearly has some type of separation anxiety or something and she just wants to hang out with her people. So, you know, hanging out with a cat isn't uh, the worst way to spend time. So I ended up just hanging out with her. I had some more of those potatoes and uh, I ended up watching one of those stupid like Lifetime fall movies or Hallmark movies. Um, I, I feel like I couldn't even finish that one or it might have been a different day. I recently like tried to watch one and I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> but eventually I was able, Marley settles down for like what I call her big sleep <laughs> um, until like later in the afternoon she wakes up. So then that's kind of when I try to do as much as I can. So did some laundry, got the sheets out on the line. I love, um, I love hanging my sheets on the line. And then just kept on working. So I had to, since I wasn't feeling well the day before, I did, obviously didn't really get anything done aside from clean my room a little. So I got, um, you know, all the things moved over from the day before to do. And then I had some, I loved the rice noodles so much that uh, I was craving this thing that I used to eat almost every day. It's like spicy peanut sauce that I make on the rice noodles and I just put some broccoli and I think red onion in there. It's so good. I used to eat, I used to literally eat this almost every day for probably at least a year. But I haven't had it in months and months. But when we had the rice noodles, I was like, oh I'm craving that so much. So I made that. And then John was definitely gone by that by that day. So then I was hang out with Marley, it's the next day. It's like, her day is just the exact same. She's in a routine and so am I, I guess, so. Coffee, hang out with Marley. But like I said, it's very peaceful. I can like meditate or read or just like relax. It's kind of nice, not, uh, like I don't wake up to an alarm or anything, so it's just really nice to wake up naturally and be able to relax and enjoy some time before you're like, you know, back, years and years ago you know i'd be waking up to an alarm and have to immediately get up and like rush off to work and just it's just a completely different 
energy that I'm very grateful for. So on this day when I got up, I wanted to get a bunch of food prep done and the fridge cleaned out. I try to always keep on top of that because I, I hate food waste. And uh, like not only is it a waste of money, but it's just, it feels very, like there are so many people who are don't have enough to eat or um, like, I don't know. It just It just feels very like, I just don't want to do that so it's like something that's very important to me so i was getting uh, a bunch of food prep done i wanted to make this samosa bowl um for john so we had got this in one of those like meal delivery services and john loved it so i was like oh i can definitely easily recreate that so i did that um and john, samosas are like one of john's favorite foods so i would have never thought to make it in like a bowl but it was um, like it's not necessarily my thing, but for him, he really liked it, but my fridge was kind of messy, um, and it just was driving me nuts, so I wanted to get all that done. Um, so I had to come downstairs into my little grocery store, which I am gonna film, like, a video on that, because I always get asked about it, um, but I needed to get a few things from down here, so it really is just, like, my own little grocery store. When I need something, I like, um, having it I guess because we don't live close to a store and the stores that we do like that are closest to us don't have everything that we use all the time so I went down and grabbed everything that I felt like I needed I even keep these little baskets down there so it's like a little grocery basket <laughs> but now it makes it easy to carry it upstairs when you have um, a few things so I wanted to get food prep done and then also fill up some things that had gotten empty I'm trying to like stock up on everything I usually do that in the fall for like winter I'm trying to stock up on baking things too so I'm trying to get everything like organized and see what I'm almost out of and all that sometimes you like forget that you have something it's like kind of stashed away in the cupboard like I had forgot about these pasta noodles um, I call them mini lasagna, but <laughs> I have some that are not gluten-free uh, in there. So I think when those run out, I'll make something for John with those. And then I'll just use those spelt ones. Like I find I can eat spelt pasta occasionally and it doesn't really bother me the same way that like wheat pasta would. Um, so I'll probably do that, but I know I needed to fill up the brown rice. Um, I have a lot of rice in the grocery store because we eat a lot of rice. Um, and like, you can just have it for a long time. So I knew I wanted to clean this cover too because it got a little bit um, congested with just life, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but it drives me nuts when things are like that. I I find that things need to be like extremely orderly or um, yeah, it drives me nuts. So I was feeling good about that. Um, this pasta had came with like a meal thing, but I just substituted it with gluten-free pasta. And then uh, I recently we've become semi-obsessed with basmati rice, which we never used to eat. So I made a container for it, but I didn't make a label, so. And of course, this is what she does. She comes down the stairs far enough that she can look through the rungs and see me in the kitchen, and she will just cry her heart out. <laughs> it's, um, she's part Siamese, so if you've ever heard like a Siamese cry, it's a, a little bit different than your average cat. Uh, that's what our cats sound like. They fully got the Siamese voice and it almost sounds like human crying. It's, it's intense. Um, I don't want to share her crying though, because I just know that somebody or maybe more than one person is going to be like, something's wrong with your cat. And it's not that there's anything wrong, but of course, somebody will say they're an expert in cats and blah, blah, blah. And the 20 years I've spent with this cat is totally meaningless because they're the expert. So that's why I never um, share her voice because I know if I didn't know her, I would probably also think something's wrong with her, but it's not. She's just a uh, part Siamese with an anxiety problem. And my favorite music to listen to when I am 
cleaning or like doing food prep and especially when I was by myself because I can actually not use headphones is 80s music it's just so upbeat and like fun um but uh, I have this little speaker it's like a retro speaker uh that's actually like very good like I'm surprised because it was only around 20 dollars or less um I just got it because I think thought it looked cool and was like oh I could put this in the kitchen um, not expecting it to be great, I guess, like, or I thought it would just be average, but it's actually really great. Sometimes we take it outside in the summer and listen to music, um, but I just plugged that. Uh, this is like an old phone that of mine. I just kept it to use for this purpose, um, so I just uh, do that, but this the 80s on 8 station on Sirius. I really, really enjoy that. Or sometimes I'll listen to a playlist on um, Spotify. But I ended up taking all of the produce out of the fridge. This is generally my system. Take it all out and then kind of cut it all up and prep it. So then the fridge is kind of cleared out. You've got food ready, already cut up. So I did some salads for myself. And then I just cut some raw vegetables to have with like hummus or dip because that's probably my favorite snack ever. And then I cut up uh, the rest of the vegetables to make a stir fry. I'm gonna do cauliflower and broccoli in there as well. Stir fry is probably one of my favorite meals ever as well. So, and then I used the rest of the cauliflower to make some cauliflower rice because I am obsessed with cauliflower rice. It's so good. I like it better than just regular rice. And then um, with the rest of the peanut sauce that I had made, I made up more, put that in there. And then this ranch dressing that I bought a few weeks ago, I ended up trying it and it's not my favorite. It has like a weird aftertaste, but I added some barbecue sauce to it to try and dilute that. It worked a little bit, so now it's like barbecue ranch. Um, I, d I didn't want to waste it. It wasn't exactly cheap, so thankfully it's gone. <laughs> I used it up and I will never buy it again. But I'm taking a break and having something to eat, which is a salad, of course. Salad is probably my all-time favorite meal, which is why I eat it all the time. It's just so like hydrating and refreshing. And so I did like 8 million loads of dishes. No, not that many, but a lot. And then I got to work on the samosa bowls for John. I wanted to get everything else taken care of first. So um, that actually came together so easily and quickly. And it's such a cheap meal too, because like potatoes are super cheap. Uh, chickpeas are cheap and that's like the main two ingredients um, so it called for Indian spice which we didn't have but I just looked up a recipe to see if I can make it I keep a lot of spices on hand I had every ingredient except for one which I can't remember what it was now but I ended up just making it actually the recipe made quite a bit so that's what was left over after I didn't use it so I made a label for that and then I remembered that I needed to make a label for the basmati rice as well so I got that done uh, 800 more dishes <laughs> and but I know it seems like I had spent a long time doing this but really I was finished and it was only like 12 o'clock so I got a simmer pot on with the rest of those apple peels that I had froze the week or two ago. Um, and yeah, John, I'm just letting these cool down, but it made three portions. For John, he was away at this time, but he was coming home the next morning uh, to pack orders to mail out. So um, no, not to pack orders. We were going thrifting, that's what it was. Anyway, unfortunately, the water went empty. <laughs> now, I can change it, but it's super hard for me to change. So, John always leaves a water, like, right there in the hall just in case I need to change it so I don't have to carry it up from the basement. Um, I did manage to do it, but it's not the easiest thing. It's, like, over 50 pounds, I think. Um, but we got that done, so that was great. And then I'm filling up all these reusable K-cups with some pumpkin coffee. I've just been keeping, like, those filled with pumpkin coffee because I'm the only one that drinks that. Um, and then I decided to wash the sheets on John's bed and make it while he was away. So that way when he comes home, he'll have clean sheets. So I got that all done. 
And then I took a little break to hang out with Marley because she came downstairs crying. <laughs> Sometimes she wakes up around noon, but usually she sleeps until like 2 or 2.30 is kind of her usual time to um, get up for a few hours. And then for dinner that night, I was just having uh, another salad and I was having these, I made them like, uh, they're made from tofu, but they're supposed to be like chicken fingers. Um, I made like a few weeks ago, I did a big freezer prep. So it makes your life a lot easier when you prep like weeks of food ahead of time. So I had a few of those they are actually so good. Um, I'm running out of them now because I've been eating them a lot on salad. So I just had that and watched just some general hospital. And then as soon as it started, I realized that the volume was not up, um, but we don't have a remote for this TV because it's so old. So <laughs> I had to get up and change the volume. And it just takes me back to being a child and I was the remote. <laughs> change the channel, change the volume. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people can relate uh, of like a certain generation. That's also when most people had like one TV in their house. So you all watch TV together in the living room. <laughs> Um, I'm actually super grateful that I grew up during that time because, um, I don't know, I, I doubt that happens that much now because everyone, not only people have more TVs because they're, you know, cheaper to buy, but also people have cell phones. So, and like kids have cell phones now, which is super weird, but yeah, so you don't really need to spend that time together. <laughs> So it was Saturday and I was just telling Marley that uh, her mom was leaving for the day. We were going thrifting, just getting my purse, and then uh, I was getting my dirty dishes. I had eaten some of the spicy peanut noodles for breakfast. <laughs> it's very weird. No, I wanted to eat something substantial because I knew we were going to be out for most of the day. So we're driving. I had to drive about 45 minutes and John had to drive 25 minutes to get to the house to pick me up. So... <laughs> But I was trying to film, I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice, but like all of the leaves have changed and it just looks so pretty. It was such a nice day too. So we went to the clothing store first to look for things, which it's been a bit disappointing for the last few months. So we did find some things, but then I went to this store, which is right across the street and I just ran in there to look uh, for a specific thing, but I ended up finding the genie glass. If you missed the last video or you didn't watch it, my last thrift with me video, which also included a Salvation Army store, and then we went to another Salvation Army store, which I'm gonna post on Thursday. But uh, yeah, I found some genie glass for an insanely cheap price. So anyway, on our way back home, we stopped in this little town I wanted to get something from the grocery store and John accidentally drove by the grocery store because we were chatting. So he's like, okay, I'll just circle back around. We can go to the health store. And then I, I remembered to tell him, oh, hey, they actually have those vegan chocolate bars in there. So we we're like, okay, let's go there and then we'll go to the grocery store. So we we're just in there kind of looking around. We don't like go in there very often because it's not super close to us, but the... Um, the owner, she's so sweet. I just love going there, but I love looking and seeing all the different things. I think I've shown it before, but they have this cool, like, Bond poster on the wall. Or, it's not a poster, it's like wooden, but it's probably like a reproduction, but I just think it's cool. And they have like bulk food and just, I don't know, a lot of cool stuff in there. I noticed this mustard that we used to carry at one of the stores I worked at and except we had probably like 20 different flavors it was crazy how many different ones there was but it was so good such good mustard um, and then I noticed this gluten-free pasta I see uh, a lot of people from the US share that um, but I've never seen it in a store here in Canada and then I noticed the spell pasta that I love comes in spaghetti so maybe try that sometime but yeah, they have a bunch of bulk food in these 
uh, jars up here. It just looks so cool. And then I saw these little soup. This would be such a good gift to give to someone, especially a soup lover. But um, I've seen them before, this type of thing in like a mason jar, but I've not, I don't think I've seen them like this before. It's very cool. And they also have a little freezer and fridge section in here, which I love. Uh, they have the gluten-free bread products that I love, like Odo's. Um, but they have, it's cool because they'll have things that aren't in the grocery store, so it's kind of nice. They have these cauliflower pizza crusts that I love. I don't think they sell them in a grocery store, but this is what we went in for. I had seen them post that they had vegan Kit Kats, which I haven't had a Kit Kat in like 15 years. It was so good. We also got this caramel bar too. But what I got from the grocery store was very exciting. I saw some candy cane K-Cups. I know it's only October, but um, last year I remember seeing them like on the grocery app that I use to order our groceries, but it was out of stock the whole time. So I was keeping it in mind to look for them early. And I just got a block of cheddar and uh, some sourdough. I was craving a piece of sourdough with my salad for the last like two or three days. So that was very exciting. I think I got home around four or something. So immediately made a salad, got some of those tofu chicken strips, and I made myself a piece of like sourdough garlic toast. It was so enjoyable. Tofu is so cheap too, like compared to actual chicken strips. Um, it's like way cheaper, uh, but I ended up just cutting up the chicken strips. I used one and a half, cut that up and put it on the salad and then kept the other one and a half for my next salad. So yeah, it was very, very good. I was so satisfied. So John left to go back. He's actually, I'm um, staying with taking care of a couple of dogs, but it's about 25 minutes away. Although he's coming home now he'll be home today when the day i'm recording this voiceover um which is today the day i'm posting this video so i was just there by myself so i decided to take my salad downstairs into the basement uh, i love watching movies down here it's so cozy um so i was like oh i should just go downstairs and watch a movie we got this little um fireplace recently and uh because it's our basement is partially finished, so it's a concrete floor that I just painted. But there's drywall on the walls, but uh, when you turn on that little electric uh, fireplace, it gives it like a nice warmth down there now that it's getting a little chillier. But that's the blanket that I use down there all the time. And I got this little vintage stool, so it's the couch is like super comfy too. So. It's a very, um, I got some Zevia, and then I had this popcorn. We've opened it like a week or so ago. It's really good, but we just didn't eat it all. So I was like, I should probably eat that soon before it's stale, if it's not already stale. So I'm more of like a cute Halloween movie type person, not so much like a horror. There are some horror movies I like, but I'm not about to watch a horror movie when I'm home by myself. So <laughs> I was trying to find like something that I could stream because this big TV, it's uh, you know newer, so the VCR won't hook up to it, and most of the movies I have are VHS. Um, so I looked for a while. There's everything that I wanted to watch was not streaming. <laughs> you had to like buy it and. If I already own the movie, I'm not gonna buy it, but I just decided to go with Bewitched, or not Bewitched, I decided to go with Hocus Pocus. Um, so I ended up falling asleep during part of Hocus Pocus. Uh, so, fun. <laughs> I think I was just so comfortable in the warmth of the fireplace, uh, it was really nice. So I made myself um, a like half calf coffee because I, I really have been trying to stay up later because I've been waking up earlier and earlier. Like yesterday, I woke up at 2 a.m. for the day. <laughs> uh, so then I decided I should watch Hocus Pocus 2, and I think I'd only seen it once before. I also fell asleep during that movie for a little bit as well, <laughs> which even after drinking caffeine, 
Um, so Marley came to join me. It's funny, she tries to scratch the furniture, but sh her paws are really just sliding down because I keep her nails um, clipped. So <laughs> it's just funny to see her doing it because she'll just keep doing her, I don't know. It's just, it, it, that wasn't a very good shot of it, I think, but sometimes when we're watching her doing it, it's just so funny. Cause it, it's like she's scratching, but really it's just her paws sliding down the, <laughs> uh, sliding down the piece of furniture but anyway eventually i was like well i guess i should just go upstairs then and try to stay awake um no she did not like that i was down there she kept coming downstairs um and crying i think to get me to be like mom let's go to bed so eventually i did go upstairs but i think my goal was to stay up until 10 30 but i think i fell asleep before 10. i don't know it's, it's so hard to uh, I've just been like falling asleep earlier because I've been getting up earlier so I need to like break the cycle but it was the next day and I guess maybe I slept in a little I decided to change the little Halloween countdown I can't believe how fast October went by or even 2024 in general So like usual, I just took my coffee back upstairs, my little baby, have some cuddle time with her. She is loving, loving that Star Wars blanket. It's so cute. And I gave her some treats. Again, she's been getting treats a lot. <laughs> we basically just have treats like everywhere that we sit in the whole house. So we each have them in our room, they're in the living room, they're in the basement, but having my second cup of coffee and I needed to edit the video that I'd filmed the day before of thrift with me which I usually never do that like that fast like where I filmed a thrift with me and then I'm posting it the next day so I had to usually at the end of my thrift with me videos I always show you what I got so I don't always like film that right away I usually film it like when I'm putting the stuff away or whatever but uh I had just left everything in the bags so we did we did end up finding like a bag of clothing so I mean I guess we didn't do that bad uh John found some sneakers that I think are worth like $200 which is crazy but I did get one thing for myself I got this like really big like not my size but I just wanted a really oversized black cardigan and I didn't have one so I just have one like in my regular size but I wanted an oversized one so I just looked I saw it while I was looking for clothing to resell so I got that and John found these Uggs which are like original Uggs which do sell pretty well I think because everybody says the quality is not the same as it used to be so we usually do keep our eye out for those but those ones are a little bit different looking we keep a bin in here in the bottom for clothing but we, it's already filled with clothing we've already sourced prior to this but didn't photograph yet so uh, i just had to leave that bag outside of the closet after i got my sweater i wanted to start a load of my clothing get that going and then i i hadn't washed the sheets yet from the day before or maybe the day before the day before <laughs> whenever i changed um john's bed so here it is uh i'm still just like so shocked <laughs> that i found this for 20 dollars. it is in pristine condition like i have a, i do have another genie bottle that i've had for years probably six or seven years a green one um, that I also found very cheap. I think it was like $7.99. Uh, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time, I think, because it was in a regular thrift store. But, like, it's in good good shape, don't get me wrong, but, like, not, not like this one. <laughs> so I was quite um, shocked. I'm still shocked. Um, but I filmed all of the things that I bought and then I was just putting things away. John found this CD. Any Canadians um, might know this, but it was our music. Uh, like we didn't have MTV like Canada had 
something called Much Music, and they would put out these CDs in like the 90s. Maybe they still do. I don't know. I don't think music channels actually play music anymore, though, do they? <laughs> anyway, that was one of the, the ones that they put out, the big shiny tunes, like alternative music, which we love. So we've been trying to collect them because they remind us of, you know, our like junior high, high school. Anyway, I was, after I got the things that I needed to get done, which included editing that video and getting it like scheduled to post, I just wanted to relax the whole rest of the day. So I went down to the basement again to try and look for a movie to watch. I ended up watching Scooby-Doo, like a live action version. I've never seen it before. Maybe it was from the 90s, I can't remember. But I used to love that cartoon when I was a kid. So I watched it. Um, I thought it was cute probably wouldn't watch it again. I don't think it has like any rewatchability for me, but it was cute to watch. And then I'm having salad, of course, with the leftover. No, not with the leftover. <laughs> having, uh, I also made these square like versions of the chicken strips, but it's tofu. So um, I'm just having that on the side of the salad, I think. Yeah, I think I was debating whether I should cut it up and have it on the salad or just eat it on the side. And I had some uh, dipping sauce, like a mustard, like maple dipping sauce left over. So I just put that over the top of it and ate it like that. It was really good. Um, but then after I had finished the Scooby-Doo movie, um, this one was suggested immediately after. So I just ended up watching that one too. And same thing, like it was cute, but I probably wouldn't watch it again. Um, but uh, of course, Marley is like, come, come to fetch me. <laughs> uh, she will stay down here with us sometimes, but not for very long. I think she just doesn't feel as comfortable down there for some reason. She just likes her routine of sleeping upstairs, I guess. But sometimes if we're both down there watching a movie, she'll get in between us and lay down and stay there for the movie. But I ended up eating some of that popcorn because I hadn't eaten it the day before when I showed it. And then I went upstairs and Marley was in uh, John's room, which was weird, but I guess she was mad at me that I didn't come up with her right away. So no, she does actually lay in here a lot when it's sunny because the sun comes in later in the day and she loves sunbathing. But as soon as I went into my room and she could hear me getting in bed, she was immediately ran in. <laughs> She loves her cuddle time, that's for sure. Uh, I love it too. I know that uh, I am so grateful to still have her here um, all these years later. So I do cherish all of my time with her because I would give anything to pet my other cat who passed away. <clears throat> um, like Marley's sister, her name is Dylan. I would give anything for her to still be here for me to like hold her one more time. Anyway, that is it for our third week of Vlogtober. I feel like this one wasn't as exciting, although I feel that way all the time, and then you guys say that you love watching them, so hopefully you enjoyed this one as well, and yeah, I can't believe October is almost over, but I'm very, very excited for Christmas season, <laughs> so uh, I've already been listening to Christmas music quite a bit, actually. <laughs> So anyway, I will see you on Thursday with another thrift with me, but if you missed the last thrift with me, you should definitely check it out because it was a pretty good find. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.